happy Saturday. Uh, it feels like for us since we've been here last weekend was Hedgehog holidays, so I wasn't here. Uh, so I'm super excited to be back. We are live, so if you're watching this afterwards, hop forward to about the two minute mark, so it gives everyone a chance to get their notifications and hop right in. I'm also gonna open up the chat in a separate window. Let me know if you have any questions. I got some exciting things to share with you today, so I'm super, super excited. Thank you to everyone who sent Emily a birthday card as well. She had a great, great day and uh, we had lots of fun. We went out last night for a few drinks and uh, it was great. So thank you so much, everyone who made her day super, super special. Uh, welcome. Hi, Olivia. Karen's here. Ryan's here. Hey, Ryan. Uh, Michelle is here as well. So welcome, 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 everyone. Uh, it's been a busy couple of weeks here at the Hollow, so I can see everyone starting to hop in. Hey, Marcy. Um, Marcy, of course, is our lovely, lovely lady over at Stamp Junkies, who you all know about. I've been raving about Stamp Junkies a lot. Hi, Emily. Carmen's here. Carrie's here. So Eric, a whole gang's joining in. Um, as I say, we usually wait to about the two minute mark. So I hope you're all having a great Saturday. Let me know if you're going to have some crafty time today. We've been busy cleaning up and making space for some fun new things coming in. And um, we've got some fun things going on this week. I will be on Hachanda, or now it's called the Crafters Network, the Craft Store, the Craft Store, uh, on Tuesday uh, morning US time, afternoon UK time. I think it's 3 p.m. I know that moves around sometimes, but about 3 p.m. UK time, which will be about 10 a.m. US time, Eastern time. Jen's here, Laura's just joined, Sunette, Janet. Hey, everyone, welcome. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that's the exciting thing going on this week as well. I got a couple of other fun things that I can't share with you yet. Our first camp meetup will be on Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. And this week we will just be going over some basics for camp. We will be talking about some different things. You do not need your camp boxes for them. Uh, they have started dispatching. There is so much stuff in them. It's so heavy. Um, I take up a ton of rooms. We've been doing them kind of in batches. So you do not need your camp kit for that as well. Uh, but we will do, um, we'll kind of go over some basics. We'll talk about some tips and general tricks and tools that you might need and things like that. So we'll kind of go over all of those things. Uh, Alicia says it's now snowing. She's expecting snow. It's got back down to the 30s. She's in the North Pole in Alaska. So uh, hey, Melinda. Um, one says, what is the camp kit? So if you were enrolled in Camp Wonder, there was an optional kit that you could get. It was called the survival kit. Um, they are now sold out, but um, we are leaving camp registrations open just for the registration part, just for a little while as well. Um, and every two weeks we get together around the campfire. We do a 90 minute tutorial and a 30 minute campfire Q&A uh, chat. So it's about building friendships, but then also about of course having fun and learning new things. And the whole idea is to use up some of those supplies that we all have behind us or in our carts or on the dining table. Or if you're me, you have them all over the house. And we're actually gonna use some of those things up as well. Uh, Olivia says, Overcast in Ontario. Ontario. Um, Thanks, Carmen, she says, loves the hair look. I was trying to make different. I had my hair done yesterday for something we were doing. And it's still curly this morning. So I just took a little scarf and tied it around the top. Um, you must be so very excited. Just a few days ago. Yeah, it's going to be a really busy, exciting week. So um, if you want to join Craft Camp, it's Summer Craft. How do you spell Summer? SummerCraftCamp.com. Um, I hope your Craft Camp kit. I sent you and Emily arrives before Wednesday. Me too, Alicia. I'm really excited to see what's in our camp kit. Uh, we love the... Uh, we love surprises and happy mail. And it's much better than getting bills, of course. Marcy says it's cold and rainy in PA. All right, so lots of the gang are here. We are ready to jump in. And today is new release day. So first of all, let me tell you, we have a couple of sales going on. And uh, the first one is 5% off the whole store, excluding events and gift cards, you know, the usual stuff. But pretty much everything is on sale, 5%. You can use the code HERO5. I'll put it in the chat for you. And then you also, there is a special Memorial Day collection on the site. I'll find the link while we're talking. And that one has 31% off. So it's our 531 sale for Memorial Day. And here it is. It's the red, white, and blue collection. 
So let me copy that link for you. There we go. So it's a hero collection. And that all has 31% off. So everything red, white, and blue in there has 31%. So there's tons of savings. And we have all of these new things. So some of them I'm going to go through a little bit quicker because a lot of you did see them last week at holidays. But of course, I kept some surprises that you don't know about. And there's some things in there as well. And we built the bundles accordingly. So if you were at holidays, there are special bundles in the new release collection. They exclude everything that you got in your um, holidays pre-order. So we've really tried to make sure that we catered to that because that was one thing we were um, given feedback on last time. So let me just find you the link to the new releases. There we go. I put it in the chat for you. All right. So are we all ready to dive in to some awesome, awesome things? I'm going to make sure I keep my phone here as well. So if there's any extra questions, I can see those too. Um, let me see. Let me open that up too. So are you all crafting today as well? The white bins on your desk look like a great size for stamps and or six by six. Oh, I'll let you know. I think they're from Curva. I'll show you in a second. Let me just open this up too. And we're just going to, I'm a bit slower this morning. I did go and get donuts uh, for everyone as well. We went down to Shipley's, which is like the best donut place ever. Um, so yeah, so Fran asked me about these bins here. This is my list of everything to put in. But they do fit pretty much everything. I have stencils and cards and dies, all sorts in here. They're from Curva, C-U-R-V-E-R. -E and it says Curva TR15. That's all that one's got on it, TR15. And... This one says storage style box S white. So I'm not really sure what those words mean, but I'm sure you could Google and they might come up for you as well. So Christine says she's crafting later, had to do laundry and picking up lunch. Just made my nephew's birthday cake. That's awesome, Jen. You have to send us a picture of what you made. So let's start off with some cool releases. Who is ready to make their summer sizzle? I'm gonna say yes. We're going to the pool later this afternoon. Um, we have to go to the storage unit and sort a couple of things out and then we'll be at the pool this afternoon. So I am definitely ready to make my summer sizzle. Uh, Marcy's gonna be cleaning up her craft room first. I know that feeling as well. I just said to Greg, I have to clean up my downstairs craft space where I actually do my crafting. So, um, first of all, we have this gorgeous one. It's called Chin Up Buttercup. Remember, you can use that code HERO5 on there. Um, live life in full bloom and some really pretty sentiments. Here's one I made for holidays last week. If you were there, you got the tutorial on how we made this. And we did alcohol marker coloring tips and things like that. But I love this stamp set. It's just so pretty. Um, I think that's it in the florals, unless I've forgotten. I'm going to kind of do it by theme a little bit. Next up, we have our surfs up. And this is such a fun concept. So you have a solid surfboard, you have a surfboard outline, and then you have all these inserts that go into um, your surfboards. So you can do the watercolor technique on here, you can do a solid color, um, all those kinds of things as well. And Carrie made this card here, and it's so clever. So she blended her like turquoise at the top here, and then she did down the bottom like that sandy color and she used her splatters. So I think I can see three different splatters in here to make the sand. Isn't that this the coolest effect though? And then she used solid stamps on these, did the outline and then used the white uh, heat embossing over the top as well. And to go with this, so if you wanna stretch this one even further, there is a little add-on to go with it. So this is Surf's Up and here is your tutti fruity add-on. So you can have a fruity add-on and you can make a um, caught in the waves wave builder back here. And then um, here she did the tutti fruity, which I think is so, so cool. And she added the glitter and stuff in. I think she did an awesome job. Thanks, Carrie. These are fab. I love it. Absolutely love it. So, um, so clever. So that is Surf's Up and tutti fruity add-on. We have one more in our military collection. Uh, this is because of the Brave. So this is using those uh, army boots, um, army footprints. 
And then we have United by Love, Divided by Duty, Thank You for Your Service, Home of the Free Because of the Brave, Sweeter Than the Honey, Stronger Than Moonshine, and Mission Accomplished. So a really nice kind of sprinkling and something more feminine in there too. And then you can see Amanda used the splatters in here to just kind of add a little bit extra. So again, those splatters are just so handy to add those extra details and stuff on there as well. And um, there is, of course, the three simple sayings this month. We've got It's a Kid's World. We have um, Love Comes in All Shapes and Sizes. And then we also have um, rem Remembering Our Heroes, something like that. So again, it coordinates with this theme for Memorial Day. Next up, we are going tropical. So this is Good Vibes. This is from Jess Francisco. I love this um, sun here and the silhouettes and all those kinds of things. And Carrie, again, did an awesome card. Look at this with the silhouette. So that's heat embossed. She used the Remarkable and heat embossed it because you can if you're nice and fast. And then here she's made this beautiful ombre um, sun in the background, added some gems on and then stamped out the You Are My Sunshine. So lots and lots of elements of that one in here. You'll see in a minute, there's some coordinating stencils that's gonna match in with this perfectly. Uh, a few more from Jess Francisco too. So she has done two amazing s'mores sets. Let me find the other one too. So these are the two sets. We have a little s'more love and we have uh, small sentiments. I mean, how can you not love this? I'm gonna put the link to the new collection in there for you as well. Um, these are just so fun. She hand lettered this. I love the two little cuties here. And last weekend I used this bow and I added something else. And then I used these faces and I added it to a stencil I'm gonna show you in a bit. So these elements work really, really well to showcase all sorts of different things. Again, here's some cards. Well, awesome team. This one's from Amanda. So she used the Spotlight Trio, blended it, added the sentiment in the center there and used each of the s'mores. Aren't they so cute? Carrie, I think, did this one. Yeah, Carrie did I Love You S'more and she made hers with real personality. They're so, so cute on here as well. Um, and there is a coordinating stencil as well. And then finally she did, this one's an Amanda's one. And she did this with the droopy chocolate, like beautiful coloring, let's stick together. And then made that fun background as well. So she stamped the s'mores with her Remarkable and then just used her Copic in between to color in a really fun background. Doesn't that look so cool? So there's three really cool cards using these small stamp sets. I say there is a fun stencil that's gonna go with it in a second too. So I'm showing you that. We're gonna keep with that fun vibe. This one is from one of mine. This is called Seaside Silhouettes. You can see I've already been playing with them a lot. Uh, so there's this one that I made. Isn't that fun? So, so fun. So I used um, Purple Rain, Ra Ra Skirt, um, Outrageous, and I used some California Love. So they're on new colors. I'll be showing you those in a bit too. And then I stamped the silhouette on top using the black as well. Um, so really, really fun things to do on there. Let me see if I've got the, I'll have to grab the inks out for you in a second. And here's a couple more samples. So Carrie did these, she used the A2 silhouette. This stamp fits perfectly in your A2 silhouette. Um, your A2 silhouette. And then she used the collection drop-in. So can you see? I think you can definitely see this one. A little bit hard. There you go. You can see it's like a little bit like going in a circle. So she added that in the background and then stamped and heat embossed as well. So really, really fun. Um, I don't have. Um, paging, our favorite doctor, to tell him that we don't have new inks up here. They're all downstairs. Um, So then we have, so perfect for this weekend as well. It's called America the Beautiful. So it's about really the 4th of July, because you can tell that at the top. Sweet Land of Liberty, Red, White and Blue America, God Bless USA. So really lovely sentiments. You could use just one of these. You could use part of them. You know, you could mix and match. You've got America the Beautiful that we hand lettered. You have this beautiful silhouette with these flowers in the bottom here as well. 
And then of course, some fun sayings. Here's one that I made with it. So I took this in the background, added my stamp on the top, I watercolored it, and then I added the blue, and then I used um, Vegas Strip and Roller Skate Gems to kind of accent those flowers on there too. Marcy's having fun, I think, just watching and uh, I know what she'd like to add to her craft room tidy up. So next up, we have, of course, every perfect summer card needs the perfect sentiment. And this one is called Seaside Sentiments and it has everything you need. You bring the sunshine. Girls just want to have fun. Don't be afraid to get your feet wet. Have another relaxing day. You're my anchor. It's almost summer somewhere. Hello, sunshine. Take it easy. Just keep swimming. Relax. Some of the best memories are made in flip-flops. See you soon. Every summer has its story and can't wait to see you again. So really, really perfect sentiments. Thanks, Greg. And uh, really, really perfect to add to your cards. And I do have the perfect uh, stamp for get your feet wet. Look at this, isn't it stunning? It's called a uh, Caught in the Waves. And these match together. There is a coordinating trio stencil. I'm trying to see if I've got one in my box of goodies here. But there is a new spotlight trio. It's called a True Slimline Spotlight Trio. And it coordinates with this perfectly. The circle's a little bit bigger and they're spaced out more like this. So they fit perfectly just like this across your cards. So here's two cards. So this one Carrie did on the Art Deco paper. This one I did on our pre-cut slim lines and I did the watercolor to get these really cool effects on here. Uh, Malty says, oh, I need it all. There is a gotta have it all bundle. And of course you can use Afterpay as well, which is really fun. I meant to wear this, I have to show this to you. So Amanda made this with Shrinky Dinks um, using that Surf's Up stamp set. She made, a super cute little bra bracelet. And she even curved it so that it fits perfectly across your wrist. Isn't that so cool? I love that. I think that is so, so cool. Um, and then, yeah, I love this waves because you can use one piece, you can use both pieces. Like Carrie just used the one, I use both, but they're just, I don't know, there's just something about them and they're super simple and they make such effective cards. There is another one from Jess. It's called Unforgettable. And we decided last weekend at holidays that this was gonna be called Felix. So this is Felix the frog. He is adorable. He comes with his little reeds here, his little punny sentiments on here. And here's some cards. So you are unforgettable, of course. So here's three different ways to use it. There's that bow from the s'mores that I used. And I put that on there. And I used that uh, circle trio to get perfect spacing down here as well. Hey Jess, we're just looking at Unforgettable and Felix. Isn't he or she um, so, so cute on here? So look at those, adorable. And this is again, one of those background inserts that Carrie has added glitter to, and it just looks, look how cool that looks in the background there. Looks fab. So that is Unforgettable. Um, I love Felix too, Claudia, it's so, so fun. Next up, we have BU Dahlia. So this is one of our stamp sets for, well, this is our stamp set, I should say, for Lift Your Spirits. So it's actually already down to $18.99. Um, so you get an extra 20% off of it because we'll be using it on June 12th, maybe? I think June 12th or 14th. Uh, it's the second Monday of the month. And we'll be using this to make four totally different cards. Here's one of the ones we'll be making right here. Um, but we're gonna be making four really different cards. So I'm really excited to share that with you. And here's a sneak peek of one of those. And it's free as well. You can just go on the site and do, uh, just look for Lift Your Spirits and you will find it. Next up, we have Retro Builder Base. This is gonna be one of your favorite stamp sets ever. And I tell you that because it's become one of mine. It, it seems like, okay, it's stripes, so what? Well, look at the backgrounds you can build. I think this one was Carrie's. No, this is Amanda's. Um, Amanda made this one right here. Uh, this is the camp stamp set that comes in your camp kit. You can't buy this one yet. Um, but this is in there. And she did it more like a gel press technique and created that on there. Let's take a trip. And then uh, Carrie did this one with the stripes on here. 
and I'll show you a couple of other cards in a second. Here's one that I did, and then I stenciled the flamingos off of this month's collection in there. I mean, just so many different ways as well. Oh, thanks, Alicia, the 14th, we're doing it. Um, so I just pop the link down there again, and here's some of those elements from Good Vibes too. You can also do them and crisscross them and make plaids. You can make it look like a gift on a card. There are so many things, and you can use it a little bit like a gel press and do some cool stuff. So if we have time, I will show you a couple of different ways to use that as well. Now, if you're at holidays, you didn't get to see all the amazing stencils we have. We have this one from Verada, which I really, really want to try. Um, I've forgotten the name of it. There's so many names of stencils. I sometimes forget what they're called. So um, this one is uh, Staggered Rectangles. So it goes in this direction. But then I was thinking you could also flip it and then make them go this way and make some really cool backgrounds. So again, it's one of those that you can use in multiple ways, multiple directions, all those kinds of things as well. So this one's really fun. So staggered rectangles. She also has this one here. This one's called Diamonds in a Row. And this card Emily made, which I think is awesome. She made this when we were on date night the other night. She was watching the girls. And she did Distressed Kaleidoscope was what she named this. So I don't entirely sure how she distressed it, but you can see like you just get this little twinkle from them. And it looks really cool. So that's uh, Diamonds in a Row. I'm going to save that one because that's one of my favorites. Next up, we have Jess's uh, Marshmallow Builder. So it's called S'mores. S'mores Love. Small Love. And... I've since got thicker bags to put them in because you get a lot of stencils in this set. So uh, we were playing with this last weekend at Holiday. So you have a heart stencil that of course you can just use as a heart background and it coordinates perfectly with the heart that is in this as well. So you have the matching hearts to stamp around and you have fun with. Then you have your marshmallow. And of course no marshmallow is complete without their graham cracker. And then no graham cracker is complete without his dripping little pieces. So it builds up into this super cute scene. Um, I wish I could share my screen with you. There's no way I can do it. I have a finished sample on the, um, on the website. So you can go check that out. But it's called Small Love. And they layer together absolutely perfectly. And Justice did an amazing job with this, Reese. I love it so, so much. Um, so that's that one. This is another one that's really fun and tons you can do with it. So this is our aviator. And you can see, look how uh, Carrie created this. I'm pretty sure it's Carrie, yeah. Um, and she used uh, some glitter paste in here. This is the Gina K glitter gel. And she put some uh, acid wash ink in there to give it a really cool effect. So this is the aviator base. And you can see you get the aviators. The lenses are separate too, so you can pull those out. So you can do all these pieces separately, and that's how she got all this cool texture, made this look like a tortoise shell in the back here. And then you get your add-ins. So this is your beach add-on or seaside add-on. And you can see you've got your clouds, and then you have your beach chair and this as well. And she used the beach chair stamp out of Good Vibes, which just happened to work perfectly um, so that you can use that in there to add that detail on there too. So love these two as a set. They just work really well. And we'll have other add-ins so you can, over time, create different scenes and things using your aviators. There is a coordinating spotlight to go with your uh, surse up. So if you're at holidays, you got the slimline version of this, which was not for sale. That was a limited edition just for holidays. Um, but we are doing an A2. So you can perfectly fit three surfboards across. So you can ink blend or you can stamp into these to get perfect placement. So they fit exactly across your A2 card as well. So really trying to make sure that, you know, it's super easy to use these new supplies. Speaking of super easy, our spotlights are always a favorite. Uh, so that's the flamingo I showed you earlier. We have a dolphin, we have the sunrise, and then this down here is just gorgeous. Can you imagine doing it and blending it out to sunset? Here's a couple with the flamingo that I've done. Uh, so this one here, I did the retro background builder, and this one here, I blended the circle, and then I blended the flamingo on top as well. Um, so this is your summer spotlight collection. It's collection 
four. Yep. And of course, you get the opposites as well. So if I move these up, you can see you've got the opposite of the flamingos. You can put it in and do two tone just like this as well, or use one piece or the other piece. So you actually get eight pieces. Uh, sorry, seven pieces because there's no opposite of this one. Seven pieces in this stencil set. This one I haven't had a chance to play with yet, but I can't wait. We're definitely going to have lots of craft together this weekend. And keep following me on Instagram because you'll get to see some of my crafting as well. Uh, this one is called uh, Sunset on the Beach. And again, you can blend all these different pieces. And you could use the retro background builder base in the background too. And I think that would look awesome. So tons and tons of different ways to do this. I'm making a pile on the side of things I want to try with you, but I don't think we're going to have time to get through them all. So we'll have to pick and choose in a little bit. Now, these are more of our scene the worlds. And I'm definitely going to have to craft live with these because I am so thrilled with these. It took us a while to figure them out. But again, you get both pieces. So this is how your scene is going to look when you're done. You see how the trees go both ways and you've got the mountains and the full moon. And then you've got, um, again, different mountains. And these are interchangeable. So I have sized these so that if you want this tall mountain on this one, you can do that. If you want this tree on this one and not this, these all mix and match. They're all the same size, which is the fun part. So you can really like interchange them and make your own scenes. And we'll have more of these. And the whole idea is you can mix and match them all. So when we do um, ones that have rivers in or all sorts of different things, you'll be able to take each of these layers and interchange them to make your own thing. Plus you get the inverse pieces so you can mask off and make all sorts of different scenes as well. And they're going to be so much fun to uh, play with. Can you imagine doing this with kaleidoscope powders with your twinkling moon at the top and things? It's going to look amazing. So, uh, so these, this one is your full moon. So this is full moon. And this one is moonrise. Okay, so you've got full moon and moonrise. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. And this one is six steps. But again, as I say, they're totally interchangeable. So they work really nicely together as well. Here is Jess's Pineapple Paradise. And then uh, Carrie did this one. She used the Duo Gel and then added our um, Sunrise Lake foils on top. That's what you can see that's twinkling away at you. So really, really, really fun. And your thousand days a year to have time to play with us. You and me both, Alicia. Um, I try really hard to craft a lot, but nowhere near enough. You know, all the boring admin stuff and the mum stuff we have to do. This is just a pinch. And here's where I was saying to you that I took the uh, eyes and things and I uh, messed around with them and I added them into here. So I had a great idea that these kind of look like aliens. You can make a boy's alien card. I think you could do so many different fun things on here. But I did this and I did like the shattered glass technique where I cut it all up and opened it up and did some fun things with that one. There's one more Jess stencil in here, which is fab. This is her In the Tropics and it coordinates perfectly. She doesn't have the dark inside in here yet. So you can see it coordinates perfectly with those leaves I was saying about earlier, you can see. And I want to show you this from Amanda because she did such an amazing job. So this is the camp stamp. If you're coming to camp, you'll have this one. And then she used the good vibe stamp. She used uh, the sunrise seven step stencil in the background. Then you've got the caught in the waves and you've got a little tag in here, which of course, oh, I got it back in the pocket. Then you've got just a pinch. And then in here is a little taggy and she added splatters on it to add some things on here. And then this one is from the silhouettes. And again, you've got your camp, you've got the good vibes and the caught in the waves in the background, the good vibes here again. And then she used from the silhouette, she just used a section of it, cut a cute little tag in the top here, more of the silhouette. So these are those circle silhouettes. So this is what they actually look like but she just used portions of them. So you can see she just took that piece and made it into this cute little silhouette going along the bottom here. Some more things just stenciled in here. And it just makes the cutest little book. So I think she did such an amazing job of this. I love it too, Janice. Mary says so cute. Uh, Jess says so cool. Love it. I know just 
amazing. I think Melanie's your tutorial because this is just like the best thing ever. I just want to put this on my desk and leave it there because it makes me so happy every time I see it. So we have tons of stencils there. Um, and then we have two new dies for you, which I'm going to share with you. So if you didn't see our dies last month, they come in these amazing envelopes. They're really nice and thick and plush. They have a Velcro seal on the back, so everything stays in here perfectly. And then they're black with a Teflon coating. So they release your paper just beautifully, so easily, so nicely. Um, and then you can, when you're done, you just pop them back into here and you can store them. And it even shows you on the front what's inside as well. And here's a couple of cards. So this one is using BU Dahlia. Uh, this one's by Carrie. And she added some glitters in here and just love it. And she colored this. It looks like she ink blended it and then spritzed it to make it look all splattery in the background. And then this one is from Amanda. She used the upcoming camp stamp set. She used this using orange squeeze cardstock and also just blended a little bit of orange in so that you get that ombre effect. And she used the art deco paper in the background, but it's so, so cool. How cool is that? I think she did an awesome job on that one too. So thanks, Amanda they, and Carrie. They're fab. Um, the other die we have is our Savannah Skies die. Uh, so Carrie did this one. She took that retro builder base, made a really funky background. She used Marcy's art marks on here as well. And then she stacked up a few die cuts to make Savannah Skies. So this coordinates perfectly with your Savannah Skies stamp and stencil set. You can see here, again, it's Teflon coated. It comes in your storage envelope. Um, so, so, so cool. And if you didn't make it to lift your spirits, I just wanted to share with you, these are still available on the site. So if you didn't get to join us, there were a couple of new stencils. So there was the Happy Father's Day, which is two pieces. You get the spotlight, and then you get the Happy Father's Day insert. So you can add that on the top. You have the Geometric Lion. And Emily made this one. Didn't she do an awesome job? So cool. Then there's another Happy Father's Day. So if your dad's not into fishing and you just want to do a Happy Father's Day, this is the square. I haven't played with this yet. But what I did do last week was I took the square piece that you get in the back and I used it just as a square spotlight. So cool. So you can use a square spotlight. And then I made this silhouette from another stamp. There's also zebra print, which look how cool that is. Play the day away. It's so fun. Poker dance, which has been super popular. Um, here's a fun card with it. Look how cool that card is. And this is actually neon inks. It doesn't show it so well on the camera, but these really are neon inks. And then we have I'm Your Biggest Fan. And she did Hakuna Matata. So cool. So there are all the stencils. Well, I say actually, no, there's two more here. Three more technically. One, we have a swatching stencil. So this is a new and improved version of our previous swatching stencil. And these are space that if you have a lot of the swatching guides you can download online, these are spaced perfectly to fit on those sheets for you so that you can just put them on there. But we did um, adapt it slightly. So you're also gonna get this piece in the back. And the idea is when you want to start swatching, you put your square over the top and you can just blend this one or you can just blend this star or this heart or this heart or this flower. So you can really pick and mix. Of course, you could use this to spotlight on any stencil, but it's really supposed to make swatching super, super easy for you. Um, and it will fit on all of those swatching guides. So if you download Jennifer Maguire's, they are sized to fit on there perfectly. And you can just spotlight, you know, one that you want to do, wipe this off and move on to the next one. You don't have to keep washing your stencil or any of those kinds of things on there. So that's the swatching stencil. And then we're starting with square inserts. So this is the square spotlight. You see it's two pieces. So you get your outside and your inside. And this is the first add-in collection. So we're doing these gorgeous shells. I cannot wait to actually play with them. I had no time this week. We've been so busy packing holidays orders and all kinds of different things. They haven't had a chance to play with them, but these are just stunning. I mean, look, the starfish, the shells in here. So you blend your color on here and then add this in. So this might be one we have to play with in a second as well. 
So let's start with this. I know Alicia starfish for our favorite star, of course. And then we have a couple of things for you. So we have three new card stocks. Um, we had to wait a little while for them to come in. So this is called matcha. Uh, it's like matcha tea. It's the um, I guess a really light pistachio. If you've got the pistachio card stock, this is even lighter. This is even more of a pastel-y color on there. This is acid wash. It's a super bright, gorgeous blue. It's not doing it justice on there. This is like vivid, vivid bright. And of course it coordinates with that acid wash uh, ink that we have. Um, so this is the acid wash ink. You can see it, you know, it's a really close match. We try and get them as close as possible. And then we have this before the storm, which is a really dark gray. So if you want to use black because black is a little bit much, then this is the perfect one to use. Um, it's just a beautiful dark gray cardstock. It's a hundred pound solid core. Um, so these are the new colors that we just launched on there. Maybe we'll play around with this in a second. And of course you have three new colors of ink as well. So we have California Love, Lime Wired, and Outrageous. Again, these are in those neons. They're super bright. Uh, they're dye base, water reactive. But if you're quick with them, because they have a silicone foam to release them. So here's an open one that I have. They have a silicone foam in here. They will release the ink really nicely and you can heat emboss with it. If you're a little bit speedy, you can definitely heat emboss. Um, and for those of you who are on the wait list, the smusher is back. So these are the new smushers. Um, we did change a couple of things from the first one. I'll go through that with you. I just want to make sure that they turn back on for you as well because they were turned off. Smusher. And I'm going to put them back in stock. There we go. So we changed a couple of things. So we smoothed out the top a little bit more. People commented that they really wanted the, um, yeah, the code is HERO5. So let me put that in here for you, HERO5. And then, of course, you also have um, your 31% off category. So check that out too on Memorial Day, red, white, and blue. So you can see that top is now really, really smooth. So it's really nice to hug onto um, we made sure that they're still matte, they're not too shiny, so you can grip onto them. And we added a little bit more firmness to this bottom felt. So I really like um, the firmer felt. I think that was a great idea. Uh, a few of you feedback back that you loved the felt on the bottom, but it'd be even better if it was a bit firmer. So we made it even firmer, so when you're using it, you can really get in there and, and go for it. So that's on there too. Um, so why don't we play with this? So this is the square spotlight. So I'm going to take this and let's cut it down to the hard front sized. So if I use my perfect layering guide, so don't forget to go and get your free perfect layering guide. It's at freecardmakingguide.com. And you can go download it, and it's awesome. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to put this on here. Of course, if you use your stencil lineup tool, it will all be perfect and centered. Um, I'm winging it because it's Saturday, and Greg did not look like he was about to be carrying this upstairs. So let me see what I've got to hold this down with. Here we go. I have some tape here, so let's just use this tape. So we'll stick. Nope, you won't. And maybe I'm just gonna hold it because it's gonna be that kind of day. I don't have any masking tape up here. I've, I'm in the process, if you don't watch it regularly, of moving my craft space downstairs. Here, I found some masking tape. So this up here will be a full studio and my craft space will be downstairs, which is great but it means that I'm in that transition of not being able to find anything. Nothing sticking to my mat. So if you have that and nothing sticks to your mat, spray it with some prime time and then spray it with a squid buster and it'll clean up like a dream. I'm gonna do my best to stick it somewhere. That bit's clean. So uh, there's my tips for getting all the extra stick off. Okay. 
Uh, Greg didn't actually. Greg was designated driver last night, so I may have had quite a few. But okay. So now I'm going to take one of these inserts. Would you like me to do the star, Alicia? If that's your favorite, I really love the shells. But we'll do a star. out and grab whatever your favorite one is and I'm going to use a piece of masking tape just to hold it in of course pixie spray will work great as well I really need to give this mat a good clean and then you want to take your clear ink you can see how my mat is so dirty nothing will stick to it at all which is just great for a Saturday I'm going to go heavy on the tape and hope that somewhere it sticks like that. But I don't think it is. So I'm just going to hold everything in place really carefully because you can stick yours down. And I'm just going to take my pad direct. Now, of course, remember, we also have the clear ink with a brush in it so you can brush it on. Just go in there. Peel it off. This is how easy this technique is, and it looks awesome. Then grab yourself a jewel tip brush and a rainbow powder brush. And then you wonder where Emily is because she tidied your room for you. I'm going to grab out, hmm, let's see, let's do some asteroid. I think I'll look really pretty on this. And then also, if you are looking for the new um, slimline stencil layering tools, if you want to do symmetrical stamping on your slimlines, we'll be doing that in a tutorial really soon. But the tools are available on the website too. They are on there ready to go. So I'm just picking this one out. And you can brush the excess back into the jar when you're not doing it on a video. I'm gonna take my rainbow powder brush and I'm gonna brush this down, but I'm doing it not over there because I don't want everything covered in this. I like to do it over a trash can or something like that and it works perfectly. And then look how beautiful that is. And how easy was that? You could ink blend this, you could kaleidoscope powder it, and then you just want to set it. So I like setting it. With a little bit of hairspray you can use any spray fixative but hairspray is just so convenient um so so convenient so you can see on there and you can mount this up and of course you've got those seaside sentiments on there you can make the most awesome saying on there so that's how to use the new square collection which is just super fun let's try this one here because this is fun too So again, grab myself a piece of white cardstock. We're gonna tape our cardstock to our stencil because that's the only one that's gonna work on here until Alex cleans it. Let's say prime time, leave it for a minute. That will get rid of all the icky on your desktop. And then you can go in and do everything else as well. Um, so the sale, Natalie, it's Hero 5. We'll give you 5% off the store. And then we have a special collection, which is our red, white, and blue collection. Here, let me put the new release down first. And then the red, white, and blue, let me go back to collections, that all has an automatic 31% off of it. I'm gonna put that in here for you. So all, that's an automatic discount. So there's um, cardstock in there, stamps, all sorts of fun things. Um, and they're all 31% off. So let's take a couple of blending brushes. Mine are all on this side. Okay, a lot of these videos, but we're going to make this work. So I'm going to start off with some yellow. 
which is California Love. These are our brand new colors for this month. And we're just going to start off down here. see they're super juicy and that's the nice part of the silicone is it just releases just the right amount of ink so you can see on there now I'm going to move to Outrageous which I'm pretty sure is what's on here I know that's how it was good let's use this one so I'm going to come from the top with my Outrageous because I want this to be super tropical And then I want to come with, I wish I, oh, I do have one of these. I have an acid wash right here. And let's get the brush out. I'm trying to hope that some of these are clean. I'm going to come from the bottom with my glue. And we have reinkers, so when they're well loved, you can refill them. So there you go, really simple, just three colors. Hey, Melinda, welcome. So, there you go. How easy was that? I wish you would pick up how neon it is too. It's just so, so bright and neon. Um, I'm gonna put this in my dirty basket a little bit. But look how, I just think it's like so pretty and so easy. Like literally that's one blend. You add on your things and off you go as well. Um, but Linda, we also have a free monthly class. You can go over, I'm just gonna put a link to one of our collections. But if you search for Lift Your Spirits and um, we do a free class, it's four ways to use one stamp set. And then when you get addicted, you can come join us at holidays and craft camp. And we do tons of demos and ways to use your supplies. So. Um, craft camp will be every two weeks and we're going to show you uh, a few ways to use all sorts of different supplies but love how this comes as well um so that one see again super simple i'm all about simple um what should we do with this one i'm not really sure i don't think i have a spotlight circle up here but i really want to just try this one out We'll do something similar to what we just did. We'll just play around a little bit. So these actually fit, there's a spotlight circle, it's round, and these fit inside of it just like that square did. I don't have one to hand. Um, and these will also fit inside of it too, which is cool. So I'm just gonna take this and stick it down and we're just gonna blend because maybe we want to cut it out with a circle die or just a circle cut as well. So let's go with the yellow. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. Some yellow in here. So bright, so fun. Can I move that? Yeah, a little bit. See my stencils move. I'm definitely not the per. If you come here for perfect crafting, then you're definitely in the wrong place. You're not perfect crafting. Make all kinds of mistakes. And I'm going to add that orange. I also want to add on this one just for fun. Let's add a little bit of raw Oscar in the pink. Find another brush. This one looks cleanish. So I'm just going to hold it. I need to re ink this. My raw Oscar, you can probably imagine if you know me well, is one of my favorites. I use it a lot. So I want to make it like a really hot pink in here. And then 
we're going to use our acid wash at the bottom, which I think was this brush. Let's hope so. Oh, thank you so much, Alicia. Can't wait to see what you all create. I love seeing you post in the Facebook group and when I see you all post on social and things, I love seeing what you make with them. So that's the fun part for me is designing all this cool stuff and then seeing how you use it. Are the inks dye inks, Ashley asked? Yes, they are. They're dye inks, they're water reactive. Look how cool that is. And you could cut that out and mount it on a card. Again, just really simple, but looks awesome with one of those, you know, sunshine sentiments and stuff on there. Um, so there's another one that we made. I want to show you one more thing. Let's talk about smushing for a second. So a lot of people will take a glass mat, a Teflon mat, and they smush. That works great. But I want to show you a different way to smush because you know I am certainly not conventional. So let's take this. This is the Retro Background Builder Base. This has been on pre-release so far and with our um, independent stores we work with, this has been like miles ahead of everything because it's so versatile. There's so many things you can do with this. Okay, I need some water. This one's water. Okay, yep, really should write that on there. But I don't have a Sharpie up here, so I'm not gonna do that either. All right, what's a favorite color combination? I'm missing a stripe, but we're just gonna have to miss a stripe. Oh no, it's on here, it's stuck on here. What's a favorite color combo to use? I feel like I always use the same one, so I wanna see what other people's favorites are. Leave me a comment down there. I've already prime timed this, so it's not too sticky. When you first get yours, you'll literally, if I like really press my hand out, I can do it probably still. You'll be able to do this just with a light touch. So make sure you prime time it. Oh, I forgot. There's a prime time and a uh, squid buster. Um, I totally forgot to grab them, bring them from upstairs, downstairs. There is a, maybe this is it. No. There is a squid buster, which is in summer scent. It's in peanut colada scent. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Um, Greg made another batch. I was like, oh, it just smells so good. Um, let me see. Let me find it. Oh, it's not turned on. I'm going to turn it on because this is supposed to come out with this race. So there is a pina colada scent and there is a, um, unscented prime time. So we were asked to do, um, prime time and squid buster uh, unscented. So we, we're switching. So this time it's going to be a summer scent pina colada squid buster. And then it's going to be a um, unscented prime time. And then next time we'll switch up. So we have both. Um, is this active? I don't know why it says not. So that should be on. So the unscented prime time is now there. If you just search prime time, it'll come up for you. And then if I do squid buster summer. Okay, I just turned that on, it looks like as well. Active on the online store. So let's just double check. Um, Am I saying the big size? We're not. So the special editions will just be in the small sizes. Um, summer cluster. It helps if you can spell it right too. There it is. The summer scent is pina colada. And I can just tell you, it smells just like a real pina colada, which I think is super cool. Um, raw raw skirt and acid wash, pink and orange, pink, blue and orange. Okay, so my favorites are your favorites too. So that's fun. Um, okay, so let's do pink. If I add orange, that one works. So I'm just gonna do pink and blue. Um, so let's do that. So you can take this, you can smush inks down just like that. And then, so don't be afraid, afraid even to smush 
on your stamps. Now, some people may think I'm crazy because they've only ever seen it done on a surface. You can totally smush, I'm gonna grab it purple too, onto your stamps too. So that's definitely not, well, I guess it's a smush, who cares? Uh, hey Lisa, moving some crafty supplies. Also, I hope the move is going well. And um, don't worry, of course, we'll have this so you can catch up anytime. So now I'm gonna spritz with our Mr. Perfect. And I'm gonna grab some cardstock. I'm just gonna press it down. And then we're gonna grab our smusher. Look how cool that is. So then you get a multicolored striped background just like that as well. No, the colors won't contaminate Francine. You can, um, I used to think that, it used to really scare me, but Tim Holtz told me to just go for it and he's right, it works perfectly. So um, yeah, even more new things, Lisa. So we have some new stencils, there's a couple of stamps we held back. So, um, and you can use the code HERO5. I think this is the HERO release. Um, across, oh no, it's a squid bus, let me find you the link. Here's the link to the new release. And then you'll also, there's a special collection for you. Um, it's called the, here, the red, white, and blue, and it will give you 31%. So it's our 531 sale um, for Memorial Day. Yeah, super, super easy to do. So there's a couple of tips and tricks and ways to use the new release and things like that. Um, I'll try and get everything a little bit more organized over the weekend and I'll keep popping back in. So make sure you have hit subscribe and ring the bell. Check out that sale, Hero 5 as well. And um, I'm super excited to send you your new supplies. If you don't know, when you shop at Maker Forte, I pack them. Emily picks them, I pack them. So I love seeing what you're all buying and sending you things. And often you might find little treats appear here and there in your packages too. And of course, there's a free stencil when you spend $35. And if you order this new release today, you will get the new stencil. So if you got the flower already, the new stencil starts with the new release also as well. Thanks, Lisa. Uh, Kathy said, I didn't think I wanted that stamp, but now I do. Oh, Lisa, uh, Kathy, it's gonna be your favorite stamp. I have so many ways you can use it. We need like a gel press. We're gonna use it for smushing. We're gonna use it for rainbows. We're gonna use it for gifts. We're gonna use it to make plaids. Like, it's the best stamp set. It looks just like a basic stripe stamp set, but you wait till you see all the things you can do with it. It's so, so fun. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you. Leave me a comment whether you're watching live or afterwards of what your favorite thing was in this new release. And also let me know something you would love for me to show you. I'm definitely gonna be doing the coordinating scenes in another video. But if there's something else you're like, oh, I really wanna see that, I think maybe these silhouettes. I guess I just got to work my way through all of it. So stay tuned, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll be back with you very, very soon. And be sure to join us for our, your free Lift Your Spirits class. Go to makeaforte.com. And of course, come join us for Summer Craft Camp at summercraftcamp.com. It starts on Wednesday, so you don't have long to sign up. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today as well. And I will see you all over the weekend. Have a wonderful time. I'm going to take the girls swimming. And we're going to cook something on the barbecue. And then I'm going to have some crafty time. I hope you get some too. I'll see you soon. Bye.